Bardstown Colonial Days is a celebration of Kentucky's uh, frontier and settlement history. Uh, so we really represent uh, what took place throughout Kentucky during the late 1700s, early 1800s. It's a very rich, very dramatic, and, and sadly for the people that lived it, you know, often a very tragic period of, of history. This gives an opportunity to expose young people and the general public to uh, our, our colonial history. And as I started uh, shifting my historical interest in reading the period, I was really amazed by what all took place here and how many his very significant historic sites I'd drive by every day and was totally unaware of their significance. So we just want to bring that to life for a weekend for people, promote that interest, uh, and give them a little taste of, of um, the early history, which was so dramatically different from what people experience here today. Gentry House. We've had our pictures taken and uh, we've tried on clothes and took our photos. Been through parts of the house and we've seen like we've seen what they've worn, what they what some of the people used to wear. I think that other kids should come to this field trip. Yeah, it's cool. I've never I've never really been here so it's sort of new to me. I took my own family last year and my son was so excited and he wanted to read history books after he left and I said, I, I can't do without this. Part of our curriculum is to study America's history and how people settled. We've done an extensive learning on Daniel Boone and his historical impact on our country and the Appalachian Trail and then what happened after people settled and what life was like. Um, our major standard is to be able to compare today's life with how life was back then, uh, just to grasp that history. And it actually makes uh, reading and writing about history a lot easier if you've lived it. So that's, that's really our objective for being here today, just interactive, hands-on fun. We have historical speakers such as Daniel Boone, Mad Ann Bailey. Uh, we have a native encampment. Um, so we offer a number of things that are intended to be hands-on education. We teach the kids to shoot primitive archery, uh, throw spear at that ladle, throw tomahawk, and we provide a full 18th century market fair, which is all the vendors have to be in period dress, their camp has to be correct. Everything is uh, juried to the period of uh, 1770s through 1810 for the Kentucky frontier. I like to say it gives me an opportunity to get them away from the uh, video games, electronics, and uh, experience something hands-on. I guess uh, those of us that didn't grow up with uh, all the electronic entertainment look back very fondly on our childhood and the time we spent running around the woods of Kentucky. I certainly did that as a young man, and uh, that, I think that's why I do this as, as an adult as well. I'm still playing out my childhood. Rebecca had two children. 